Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I am happy to present to you my top 10 fragrances for the summer of 2015. I love doing the summer videos. It's arguably my favorite top 10 to go through and do just because um, I've told many stories of this before but I had a hard time finding, I really didn't like fresh fragrances when I first started collecting fragrances but after really curating my collection I've come up with stuff that I absolutely love to wear in the summer. You smell so fresh, it smells so clean and inviting, the, warm, the weather is warm, it's my favorite season, it's just magic all around. I absolutely love it. Now those of you who follow my channel consistently know that this is actually a little bit early for my seasonal release. I would always release it on the solstices which is like June 21st, um, I think what, uh, September 21st and December 21st, you get it. The 21st are basically the calendar marking of the beginning or the, the beginning of a particular season. This time I'm releasing it early because I realized, one, I, start, I always start to get messages at least a month before you know, asking me where my seasonal videos, where's the top 10 for spring, where's the top 10 for et cetera, about a month before it actually starts. Two. This is actually the, at least here in the United States, it's actually the upcoming, I'm sorry, the unofficial kickoff of the summer. Memorial Day usually signifies the kickoff of summer, and I think it's, what is it, Labor Day signifies the kickoff of fall, or the end of summer, basically. So with that, and you know, when I thought about it, releasing a winter video on November of 2000, uh, I'm sorry, in November for my winter video kind of more fits just because it always felt that I was releasing a little bit late in December when it was almost right up next to Christmas time. So this will really help things in terms of the organization of my channel, all right? So just a little bit of information. I know I talked a little bit before I get into the top 10, but this is the summer. This is what I consider like 80 degrees and above most of the time. Uh, we're talking about 80 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot. It's humid. I live in New York, so it's that kind of a temperature. It's, you know, sometimes it can smell, you know, kind of overwhelming, but the heat really comes off. Yeah, and that's what I'm expecting for summer fragrances. I generally tend to look for fresh fragrances, mostly in summer nights. Sometimes it get a little bit cool, and I do tend to have fragrances that hit those uh, occasions. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into the top 10 now. My top 10 list starting at number 10 is a fragrance that usually I reserve for fall, but I've kind of jumped it over into the um, summer. That fragrance is Terre de Hermes. Now, Terre de Hermes is a fragrance from the house of Hermes. It is a dirty, earthy, orange citrus scent. It's a scent that's, that goes very nicely, and I kind of use it for casual. Now, one of the main reasons that this is actually on here is because I don't have the other fragrance, the other Terre de Hermes, the fresh version uh, that I really want to get, and it's high on my list. Uh, it's, I've been really meaning to get it, but I still just haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten it for a number of reasons. You might have actually seen my video for it and understand what the reasons are, but anyways, if I had that fragrance, that fragrance would be number one on my list, undisputably, just because it's that good. But this, I think it still is a great fragrance for the summertime, and that's why it's on my list, but it's at number 10, and I you know, wear it casually for that. So Terre de Hermes is coming in at number 10. Coming in at number nine, we have a scent that I wear traditionally when it gets really, really, really hot out there, and that's Gucci Pour Homme 2. Now, Gucci Pour Homme 2 is a tea-based fragrance. It's very light, it's uh, a bit aromatic, and it's very relaxing, basically. It's, it has a nice little cooling effect to me that gives off, when it gets really hot, it has the ability to make you feel like you're cooler than it actually is out there. So for that reason, I'm like, I just absolutely love this scent for that particular occasion. I wear it casually. Uh, sometimes I'll wear it to work when I've got, you know, when I'm dressed up, I've got a suit, and I'll put it on and it'll, you know, it, in the summer when it gets really hot and you have a suit on, it can be sometimes a little bit overbearing. But with this, it kind of makes it a little bit easier. So that's when I wear Gucci Pour Homme too. Coming in at number eight, we have one from the house of Chanel. This is Allure Homme Sport. This fragrance was released quite a while ago. And it's, I alt, I kind of waffle between Alu Orm Sport, this version, and the Extreme version. But this version, I've been digging a lot more just because it has a slight creaminess to it that I kind of get from some other Chanel's like Edition Blanche. 
and it's a le it's less powerful and I've been you know kind of steering towards the less powerful side and it still is just a great fragrance overall and I wear this to all sorts of occasions I wear it if I'm going out if I wear it if I'm going uh, like say basketball and I'm playing outdoors I wear it I actually think I Actually, I think I've worn it to work once in the summer before, too, but either way, I wouldn't probably wear this, but it's mainly one of my mainstay casual fragrances that I go ahead and wear, all right? Allure Home Sport, you're going to get this very nice citrusy, zesty type of a smell. It's got a little, it's got a nice little tonka dry down, so it's sweet as well, too, and it just does overall great. Good compliment getter as well, too. Coming at number seven, we have one from the house of Dior. Fragrances Dior Homme Sport. Another sport fragrance. This one is citrus and ginger. It's a ginger based fragrance that has a really nice, it has a cooling quality to it as well too. One of the downsides of this one is it doesn't last as long. This is about like four or five hours on my skin at this point. And so because of the fact that it doesn't last as long, I generally tend to wear this in situations where I know that I'm going to, for some reason or another, I don't need to have it smell after the four hours. So if I know I'm going to take a shower within four hours, if I know I'm going to be going to bed in the next four hours, if I know that I'm going to be uh, possibly in an area where maybe you know uh, a really heavy smell isn't going to be appreciated, that's when I'm gonna wear a Dior Homme Sport. It's actually a great smell. Uh, the performance though, it's a little bit iffy on this one, all right? Number six, we have a fragrance that was number one last year for my summer designer and it is number six this year. Lodisei by Isemiake. I don't know, got kind of tangled there for a second, but this one, it's a sart citrus yuzuno. Think of this sour orange type of a smell to it. Absolutely love it. The only reason that it's dropped from number one to six is because of the fact that I've worn it so much at this point and, you know, it's time for a little bit of change for the fragrances that I've actually taken in. Uh, at least on the designer side. Still is a solid fragrance though, has excellent performance, especially for the type of citrus that you're going to get for it. Has a little bit of floral notes to it too that, you know, kind of add a little bit of softness to it, but it is still great in its own right. Number six, Lodice. Number five, we have a cheapie from the house of Nautica. That fragrance is Nautica Voyage. This is my I can't think of what to wear, so I'm going to pull on Nautica Voyage. This is a nice, salty, really well done fragrance. You can get this for like $17. Absolutely fantastic. And it's one that I wear in almost any single occasion that I can think of. If I just can't think of something to wear, I'm going to, you know, toss on a couple of spritz of Nautica Voyage and go out and, you know, enjoy my day. So Nautica Voyage coming in at number five. Number four. We have a fragrance from the house of Express. You know what it is, Express Reserve. Express Reserve, this is my night out fragrance. It's got a little bit of rum. It's got a little bit of um, <coughs> rum, spices, and a little bit of slight sweetness too. Or not rum, uh, bourbon. There we go. Or is it rum? One of the two, one of the two alcohols. Anyways, this one is one that I wear to you know going out at night i'm out on the town dressed up pretty well this is one that i really like to wear in that scenario one has supplanted this for a night out fragrance to be perfectly honest but that's because of other reasons which you'll see in a second and i'll explain in a bit but either way a very solid fragrance you can get it cheap uh look out i would say there are two different versions of this this is a dark version there's a lighter version which is a newer reformulated version i prefer the dark version i'm not a fan of the reformulated version all right Express Reserve. Number three from the house of Chanel. Another one, we've got Blue de Chanel. Great all around fragrance. One of my work mains, one of my workhorses for work in the summertime. This is basically, I described in my review as the generic cologne done right. This smells like your typical generic cologne smell, but it's just absolutely fantastic in terms of the performance, the actual smell, they've done little tweaks here or there and they produce something that's just absolutely fantastic and one that I mentioned for that every guy should have in his wardrobe. I think Blue de Chanel is that good of a fragrance and I'll sing high praises to this almost any day. At number three, Blue de Chanel. 
Number two, we have another one from the house of Dior. We've got Dior Homme Cologne. Now this one is actually very similar to the Dior Homme Sport one. They're both similar fragrances, and I know they put them both on. I tend to steer away from that, but I really have been liking this just because the performance is a little bit better than Dior Homme Sport, and you know I tend to, I tend to spray uh, spray quite a bit of this fragrance on me. And you've seen at this point that you know I've used a good amount of this fragrance, despite the fact that I've had it for relatively a short period of time. Now, very similar to the smell, it's got a nice, very nice citrus smell, very nice orangey smell, and it has a little bit of a ginger type smelling smell to it. Uh, but uh, last a good amount of time on your skin. Not the best amount of time, but still a good amount of time on your skin. And for me, I tend to wear this one to work as well. I wear it casually and, you know, on, I, I wear it when I'm, and when I say casually, I don't just mean going out, you know, in jeans, stuff like that. I'll wear shorts and stuff like that and just wear this one going out. And for our number one fragrance, our number one summer scent is one that caught me by surprise. I just, I didn't realize I was wearing it so much, but I absolutely love it. Uh, my fiance loves it, and it's just one that comes off perfect. We are talking about number one, Ultra Zest from the house of Terry Mugler. I think they hit a home run with this one. Uh, I, if there were to go back to my review, I actually, I think I gave it a nine out of ten, maybe an eight out of ten, and I would definitely give this one a ten out of ten because I just think it smells that good. It smells that good. I think it's the best of their offering now. I would honestly put this one ahead of Pure Malt and and my previous favorite, which was Pure Leather, or, and which to me smelled like Angel Man. But either way, this one, think of orange patchouli, and you've got a little bit of orange patchouli and chocolate. And it just comes off absolutely fantastic on your skin. I know I've used that so many times, but either way, casual. I don't wear it to work though. I don't wear this one to work, but I wear this casually. I wear this going out between the sheets, you name it. This one is such a rock star on that and is my number one summer designer fragrance. All right. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave a message, send me a note, do whatever you got to do. I'm always curious. I want to know what you guys are wearing, what your top 10 lists are for designer for this summer. Curious. Now, yeah, just absolutely fantastic. Just absolutely curious to see what you guys have. All right. So leave that. Send me a message. Do whatever you got to do. Thank you. Take care of yourselves. You guys have a great day. And look out for part two, which is the niche or the top 10 of uh, niche fragrances for this summer. All right. Take care.